I got my parts back from anodizing. These were originally black. I stripped them, made them gold. I went with natural gold. So um, I did a lot of stuff on my bike, as you can see. I'm gonna be showing it all. Here's a quick shifter linkage, axle nut. This is actually the axle nut. This is the shock, rear shock nut. Tell by the, this one has a little bit more wear on it. And then here, got my spacers done. The spacers are a different aluminum, so they turned out slightly different color, as you can tell. Looks like it's been sun faded. The both axles, the spacers are the same color, but the nuts are different because they're a different material. But luckily you don't really see the axles. The uh, shock preload adjusters, nuts. Here's my rear set brackets. These were originally black and they had to get stripped. I just love that. They look so good. Probably from when I tightened them because they weren't brand new. Chain adjuster blocks. These are 2014s and they came out really good. Here we're on to a uh, different metal again. That's why it turned out dull. for the shock in the back, shock bracket. These are Vortex, they originally come black. They're clip-ons. Here's the foot peg. I don't know the di why these turned out different colors. They were in the same batch and they were both ran twice. But Vortex is Chinese. They get them from China. Can't stress that enough. And their supplier won't give it to them. If I'm wrong, let me down, let me know, but when I called them, they said they got them from China and this is Chinese aluminum, Chinese It's it's obviously different. There's a difference here. Back up to the rear sets the heel guards. Now these came out shiny. These came out great. Here's a custom homemade bracket. It's amazing how I thought I had it pretty polished but uh, now that it's anodized you can see the little scratches. Let me get that in focus. See that? You can barely see them on the camera, but they're relatively visible. I'm still really happy with how it turned out. This is the clutch lever. Here's a, another axle spacer. This is the shock mount. That is not a good sign. I can't tell if that's a crack, because if that's a crack, that's not good. And it feels, it definitely feels like there's something there. Well, I hope I don't wreck out there this season. These are some more homemade brackets um, for my tail section. I got a few videos, I'll put the links down below. They turned out really good for not polishing them up. Last but not least, handlebars for my clip-ons. Now, check out all of it sitting there together. We have one, two, three pieces four or five turned out slightly different color. Maybe this 
if you count it. But all in all, this was a, a great deal. I'm very happy with how everything turned out, and it's really going to make the bike look good. Um, guess how much it was down below in the comments. Really cheap. It's a beautiful mod anyone can do if they're looking to have some fun on their bike or, you know, separate it and make it unique from everyone else. Stay tuned and you'll see everything on the bike.